Alright guys, it's 20 past 10 and I've just bought this bike that I was looking at on eBay an hour ago. I messaged a guy and said I want it. I've driven an hour down the road and I've picked it up. I'll show you a bit more when I pull this out at the other end. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty cool. So here you go guys, it is a quarter past 11 and um, Nat, you're going to like this one. I don't even know what this is. It is a 250cc Honda something. Um, it's obviously been built into a calf racer. This is a fiberglass tank, custom made, which is great. Um, it's running a cone filter. I believe it runs like crap. And it's got a nice exhaust. I don't know what that exhaust is from because I, I don't know what bike it is. But I love its stance. It's straight kind of minimalistic stance um, this front fairing I don't know how I feel about it part of me loves it part of me hates it and obviously we can't really see what we're working with right now because it's pitch black I don't know what kind of electrics it has here yeah, look I can run the number plate after and that will tell us what we're looking at it's Enridge so what's that 96 um, I can see the battery under there, that's cool, that's good to know. And I can see one carb, 250cc I believe. And yeah, it's a cat racer. So I, I kind of really like it. But for now, I'm going to let your guys' imagination do the work. Um, I'm going to get online and see what I think. And uh, let's see what we can make from this. This seat is crap. Mm. That really lets it down. I mean, we can probably use that seat, but we need to kind of just rejig it, push it down a bit, maybe dye it black. Oh, red's okay because of the handle grips. Anyway, that's it for now, guys. Sorry I'm whispering, it's quite late. I don't want to wake the neighbours. I mean, they love me and they love the noise I make, but, but look at that. Nat, you're going to love this one. Um, oh, by the way, guys, I paid 600 quid for this. I was on eBay two hours ago. It, it was on for £500 with one day left. I messaged a guy and said, look, I'll come in an hour. I'll give you 600 quid. And he said, all right, come on in. So I paid 600 quid for this. I reckon this is a £1,200 bike if it's up and running and ready to go. Okay, so it's the daytime. The next day we're here at the bike in the light so let's see what we've got so we've got a motad exhaust uh two into one that's good i think these bikes came um one into one one pipe on each side uh tire front tire and rear tires in very good condition um the paint on the tank's no good so i just built a tiny bit of fuel and it marks so i'm gonna have to do something with that probably use a petrol resistant lacquer not that there is a real one the um, battery's dead I can see the battery there actually look at that, it's interesting so is that a bloody hell what is that, it's one of them tiny lithium things oh I, I don't even know how you charge them I'll have to kind of find out how you charge them tiny little lightweight batteries, I don't know. It's running a standard carb with a K&N air filter. Um, it hasn't started yet, has no fuel in it. First major thing I need to do on the weekend, not now, is uh, just, just throw loads of fuel in it or take the tank off and run some fuel straight through it uh, and just see kind of what, what it does. Apparently it does start an idle um, but that's potentially about it. Um, I don't like the seat cover. I mean, it's just... Oh, it's Velcro. It's just crap. Um, honestly, though, it would be fine if it sat 
So at the moment, it sits like kind of like that, and that's ridiculous. If we can tuck the front in a bit, like do a chop, tuck the front in, and have it sit properly like that. Um, yeah, if you chop the front, so get rid of a bit here, have this sit flush like that, then that's a much better stance. That's obviously, that'd be okay. Um, electric wise, I'm not sure what works. I don't know if anything works. The, the dash comes on barely. Um, I don't think it has any indicators. Not that it has the power to do that right now. I don't know if it has brake lights. Honestly, I don't know what it's got or hasn't got. And yeah, and like I said, I, I don't know what to do with that little battery. I don't know how you deal with them. I'm sure you can't throw them on normal chargers. I'll have to Google that and see. Um, but yeah, but that's the stance. So it's a 1996 Honda CB250. It's very, very light. I think it's that fiberglass tank. This is fiberglass inside and out. It weighs nothing. Um, so it's, yes, yeah, so it's very light. But it's got a really nice shape to it. I didn't like the front head fairing when I first saw it. But I, I kind of do now. I'm really in two minds. Then I have to kind of think about that. Chain and sprocket look practically brand new. Like I said, tyres and wheels are great and brand new. Um, these Kef Racer bars are okay. I'm not sure if I'd want to switch to on the forks. Probably not. I'd probably stick with this. I quite like it. It's kind of done and set up and ready. And yeah. So it's kind of... It's kind of neatening and touching up like that. The biggest, you know, indicators in the world just don't need to be there. You could have um, tiny little ones like Aiden's old CD200 ad. He had these tiny little ones, didn't he, here or here. Um, that would be, you'd be much better off doing that. Get rid of these brackets, get rid of them huge ass indicators front and back. And then consider this front fairing. Um, I, I think it makes the bike stance quite nice I think the bike sits up a little bit kind of like this if you look at it um, what you can do is drop the uh, the front through the forks a little bit more someone's already done that look see they've dropped them this much um, you can drop them a little bit more or of course you can extend sometimes these are extendable anyway no no these are not these ones aren't but some you can you might be able to at the top actually I'll have a look at them Basically, you'd need to um, lift the rear up a, a little bit uh, or drop the front a little bit more within kind of safety, within safe boundaries. I think, I think you'd be okay there dropping them a little bit more. Actually, no, they're on the bar. So that's why it's this stance, you can't drop it anymore. So you do have to lift the back. What I'll actually do now, uh, quickly, is I'll measure the back shock and uh, try and buy some that are adjustable that are a bit taller. But otherwise, honestly, it's great. Apparently, the jetting wasn't very good, so I have to look at kind of what to do. Honestly, guys, I think I'd throw an airbox back on this, and I think I'd have you'd have it here in this area, and maybe make two panels here triangular panels out of um, sheet steel, sheet aluminium, paint them black and maybe put a numbered sticker on there like number one or something, just a white round sticker, uh, something like that. Obviously I'm going to try and get these things set up but uh, I doubt it's, it's going to be easy. Um, I'm sure it's going to be a right pain because these, these cones just they never really want to run properly. So that's it for now. Honestly, that's just a, an introduction. Um, I'm selling loads of parts off the GS500. I've just, I've sold the clocks, 40 or 50 quid they were. I've sold one set off the sides, bars. Um, I've sold the back wheel. I've sold, sold loads of pieces. So uh, I've made a kind of 200 pound out of just out of silly bits like this. So that's great because it shows you, doesn't it? Because I, 
Um, I think both the bikes were bought for 350 originally, and I'm going to get that back in parts alone just for this one. Plus, I got sold the other one for 900 the other day, or last week. So it just shows you that sometimes the bikes work more in parts. That said, L600 would get me more in parts. So there you go. Sorry guys, a bit boring. It's just an introduction to what I picked up and why I picked it up yesterday. And uh, hopefully you'll see more to come on this bike uh, on the weekend. So this is what I need to look at. This Super B lightweight battery. I can't see down the side there, but I'm going to need to use this to help me. Um, can I get it any closer? Come on, zoom. Um, this is a Super B lightweight, I assume it's lithium battery. I need to work out how and if I can charge it. Oh, hang on, look, you can move it. That makes life easier. So what are we looking at? It is, it doesn't really tell me anything. I'll have a look into that. See if I can just put it on my charger. I have no idea if you can or can't. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll get this kind of somehow up and running on the weekend or doing something maybe i don't even know actually we'll just uh we'll just give it a shot on the weekend and see see how it goes